It looks really weird. It's never come into my life. I've seen it at restaurants. Whenever friends do try it, I'm always hesitant. I rarely went to a place that served it. And then when I was there, I was like, that looks too weird. I'm gonna have the chicken I can't pronounce instead. This is like classic boba. It's sealed. I hope that it tastes like chocolate milk. It just felt like tadpoles flew in my mouth. I don't know how I feel about chewing these weird gummy things. It's like chewing on a trampoline. I'm like pleasantly surprised. The tea is delicious. It's very similar to like this Indian cha. I like it, but I don't get it. It's like expecting to get a Game Boy for Christmas and then your parents get you a Game Boy Advance. I would totally go for this again. This looks like a witch's brew. I have no idea what taro is. Ooh, that's good. I really like it. I like it more than the first one. It's a floral kind of sweet potato kind of flavor. Sweet, but not too sweet. Chewing on something matches the flavor of what's going on here. I would prefer the tea without the boba. Honeydew milk tea. This does not look natural at all. This is really good. Mm -mm. <laughs> no! Whoa. That tastes exactly like honeydew. So sweet and so sour at the same time. It's not overly powerful, it's not too sweet. This makes the most sense to chew the balls because you're used to chewing when you eat honeydew. I feel like honeydew is done better in boba than it is like on its own. I'm liking them more and more. So maybe I need to go out and start drinking more boba tea. It almost makes drinking tea stressful. I'm a convert. I like the squishy. I would drink this now. I'm glad I tried it. These balls confuse me a ton. I don't know whether to swallow them or just like, let them hang out in my mouth. <laughs> it's, it's impossible not to make jokes about balls when you're drinking this tea.